Hello, I'm Tom Maresca, and you're witnessing history being made as the 1954 Mercury XM800 concept car drives into view. You see, the XM800 was a push car with no one. It's common for auto manufacturers not to make their concept cars fully functional for cost saving measures. The XM800 lacks certain drive team train components needed to make it drivable. I installed these missing components when I restored the XM800. The XM800 was designed by John Nager of the Lincoln Mercury Design Division of the Ford Motor Company in 1952. It was built in late 1953 and is crafted entirely from fiberglass, a new challenge in the auto industry and Ford's first venture into fiberglass. Even the bumpers are fiberglass and chrome plated, likely the first plastics ever to be chrome plated. I restored the XM800 over the winter of 2008-2009. The windshield and rear windows are plexiglass. The XM800 features power windows, power seats, power brakes, and dual exhaust. All quite commonplace in today's automobiles, but something quite amazing in 1954. It also features power opening and closing hood and trunk lids, as well as a power reclining front passenger seat. These are features you still don't see in today's automobiles. <laughs> Other features include bucket seats front and rear, something not repeated in the auto industry until Pontiac did it in 1960. It has center consoles front and rear which contain controls for the seats and windows as well as a place to store personal items and cigarette lighters and ashtrays. The XM800 has an aircraft inspired instrument panel which includes a new instrument, a tachometer, which tells the engine speed and revolutions per minute. Many of the features from the XM800 show up in later Ford products, particularly the 1956 Lincoln Premier. The XM800 is the first ever Ford product with fins. The XM800 premiered at the February 1954 Detroit Auto Show alongside the all-new Thunderbird. And as we know, the Thunderbird made it into production, but the XM800 did not. If built, it would have been built of steel. The XM800 was featured in the 1954 movie Woman's World, starring Fred McMurray, Lauren Bacall, Van Heflin, June Allison, Clifton Webb, Arlene Dahl, and Cornell Wilde. Miniature models of the XM800 were free inside boxes of post grape nuts flake cereal. The XM800 appeared in many auto magazines, including Motor Trend, Road and Track, and Car Life. The entire the entire history of the XM800 and its complete restoration can be seen by visiting www.tbirdsquare.com. Here's a look under the hood at the highly chromed, fully detailed, all-new Mercury overhead valve V8 engine. As you recall, earlier Mercury's had the flathead engine in them. This is the lift for the power opening hood system. The new concave grille was designed to improve airflow for more efficient engine cooling. The air scoop on the hood is also functional. Deeply hooded headlights would show up on many later Ford products. The XM800 sports unique bright wheel covers with the Mercury medallion adorning the centers. The exterior door handle seems to appear from nowhere at a touch to let you inside the XM800. On the inside, the door handles are cleverly fared into the armrest of the door panels. Here's the aircraft inspired instrument panel and steering wheel. If you visually remove the white ring of the steering wheel, you can see the chrome aircraft inspiration. For the first time, seat and window controls are located in the center console's front and rear, as well as cigarette lighters and ashtrays and a compartment for personal 
items and roadmaps. The XM800 has a beautiful 13 panel headliner with practical tinted pull down sun visors in the front. The exhaust exit the powerful V8 engine through unique openings in the ends of the rear bumper. Many variations of this will come in future Fords. The interior of the trunk is fully upholstered and has a light on the underside of the trunk lid. On top of the trunk lid centered it is the radio antenna. On the passenger side of the dash is a clock with a sweep second hand. 